Okay, we made it to Eastern Iceland. The weather's a little bit better here, although there's supposed to be some wind picking up. We are at Esterhorn, East Horn, Vesterhorn, West Horn, which is definitely the more fo popular photo location is way off in the distance back that way. Uh, and we're gonna photograph this area today. It's midday, it's two in the afternoon, but we're gonna start by photographing Esterhorn, more just kind of like to try it because I've never photographed this location. This is my favorite part of Iceland. The reindeer are all over the place. The seas are wild and the peaks rise right out of the coast. It's Iceland photography at its finest. However, I don't think I've ever been over here when the weather was good. Hell, I don't even think I've ever seen the sun out here in the east. As we wander up to the view leading to Esterhorn, I'm drawn right away to an obvious composition. So this is awesome actually. This is a really, really cool spot. I found, I'm not like pretending I'm a European explorer and pretending I'm the first person that found this, but I discovered this spot right now in the wind on the other side of the beach on the rocks as the wind's picking up that has like this cove and this snow and it kind of forms like a little bit of a bowl at the bottom of the east horns. I've got about a half second. I'm using a three stop ND to do that and a four stop medium grad to hold in some of the sky. And I'm just waiting for moments like this where the sea's coming up or retreating back and just getting that slight motion in the water here. And I think it's coming out really cool. Found another spot right here. And often the difference of being like a really good photographer versus a, a good photographer is just a little bit more exploration. The classic place to shoot this is basically where I was standing. And it's a lower tide right now. So I walked a little bit down along the tide rocks and I found this awesome composition here where the waves are crashing in and it doesn't look like anything but when the waves do crash over, you get spots of moving water throughout the bottom of the frame. And I think it looks really cool. So I'm shooting a six stop ND now, I think. Still the four stop grad. And then now doing like two second exposures just to show that, that mistiness in the water. And I like this, I think much better than the classic. So if you get to a classic location, shoot the classic shot and then go off exploring. I don't think there's any better advice in landscape photography other than to explore. Wander, change perspectives, angles, spin around. Hunting for something new led me to this image. After finding the moment in the seas in that location, we wandered back along the icy rocks, packed up our camera gear, and headed west towards the far more classic photo location here in Eastern Iceland, Vesterhorn. It's icy. Whew. Oh man, it is starting to get really windy. They're calling for 85 mile an hour winds tomorrow. We're here at Vesterhorn and it looks phenomenal, minus the sky. Just the dusting of snow looks so good here. The thing I love about photographing Iceland is that you can come back to the same location three, four times, and it's different every time. I've never been here when there was snow on the ground, and it looks like another planet. I mean, where else in the world do you step into black sand and create white footprints? Where else in the world do you get shots like this? Oh my God, we're getting just absolutely abused by this. All right, in fact, I'm gonna get off of the sand a bit. Getting abused by the sand, which is flying up and just hitting us in the eyes. Um, I just shot an image that I really like. I love all this snow here, but I also love the contrast between the snow and, you know, this volcanic sand that's abusing me. 
And what I've done is found these awesome leading lines in the dunes, gone and st stood on a mound in the snow, framed myself in the mountain in the background wearing my jacket and my backpack. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with this image. And <laughs> I think I, we're gonna go try to photograph something else, but this is starting to get abusive. My eyes are watering, my nose is watering. I'm getting hit in the face with sand at like, no. what, 80 kilometer winds? Man, this is super comfortable. All I need now is like a deck chair, some suntan oil, maybe uh, like a cold beer. <laughs> is that asking too much? Yeah, Greg, it is. Now go stand on that dirt mound and pose for a photo. Coyote sounds like in Canada. That's what a coyote you think that if you think that's what a coyote sounds like you might have grown up in Toronto. We're not in Toronto anymore Dorothy. Even our Icelandic Viking Ivan is struggling to walk in the wind here. But the wild conditions are definitely leading to some beautiful images. Okay I think I'm actually gonna get a third from here uh, I've just come down to the beach and the way the tides are right now is they're coming up and leaving some reflections behind in the past I've shot reflections over like the lagoon area but not here on the beach uh, so I'm just kind of waiting for the right wave to come high enough and then I'm going to get kind of like half reflection half no reflection I think and use the lines of the sea to kind of you know lead towards the peak so I'm shooting f11 about a half a second really wide 15 millimeters or so and I think this is gonna come out really cool down here on the beach I probably took 40 images I think 10 of them are share worthy so I tried to narrow it down to my absolute favorites but it wasn't easy to pick just a couple and honestly this was some of the most fun I've had making photos in a long time Today, I think there were six in total after being whited out for days. We were pretty like lucky today, even though the conditions are still not good. We got some photos, but we're coming back here in the morning. So maybe we're going to get even more photos in, uh, in Eastern Iceland. So going to get some rest and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, guys, I don't know what to say other than that door doesn't open like that. Woke up this morning 
And we're definitely not photographing Vesterhorn because we're again in a whiteout. The weather is absolutely nasty. The roads are all closed and I'm out here in my shark slippers freezing. So that's it for today's video. I'm glad we got some photos, but we're once again locked in here in Iceland. So yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next one and hopefully the weather's better. Peace.